with Charles Armstrong in the tourist booth, and this is a crazy application. Tell us about it. Well, it's basically augmented reality style travel, except you don't have to be there to view these spaces. We call it remote reality. So tourists lets you go anywhere and look around without having to be there. Nice, nice. So um, we're going to do a demo in a second where Steve is actually going to hold the iPad, but how are these videos created? Uh, we have a new uh, feature that was just released this morning for iPhone users that lets you turn in a circle taking 10 pictures and upload them. When you use that service, it's totally free. You don't get the floor or the ceiling, but it, it, it's instant gratification. It takes like one minute to shoot and about five minutes to go live. Wow, that's crazy. So then, are they geotagged so people can say, this is the location I want to go to? That's right. And so you can share them with friends and family, embed them into websites, view them on iDevices, really do anything you want with them. Build microsites, get traffic reports. You can use it for fun, but you really could use this also professionally. Yeah, very interesting. Now, uh, Steve asked earlier about whether you can have a private link. Um, we do provide private uh, hosting options for our enterprise clients. It's not for everybody else. Okay, well, that's just good to know. No, good to know the parameters. So what what Steve is going to show in a second is a video that we're, I don't know, what do you call these things? They're a tours. tourist? They're tours. Oh, okay, a it's virtual a tour. tour, and right. Steve's going to hold it up to the camcorder and uh, do the demo for us. Sounds great. Looking forward to it. All right, let's try this. Maybe you can walk me through what we're looking at. So this is some sort of uh, hotel in uh, Mexico, is my understanding. It's called uh, Puerto Vallarta. Okay, excellent. And uh, definitely a place that looks like I would like to stay. Uh, and the, the, the interesting thing here is if you keep panning around, you'll see that you get a very honest portrayal of a space. Like if we look to the right some more, there's just a wall. You wouldn't want that view from your balcony. You would want the other view. It's nice to be able to get a, a, a very visceral understanding of what the world uh, has to offer. And you can look down at the floor and up at the ceiling. I'll help hold here. I mean, that gives you a really good understanding of the space. So how was this one created? Uh, this is using a digital camera. Um, it, there's a lot of different solutions you can use to create panoramas. Uh, we support all of them. Uh, the higher quality technology you're using, the better the resulting image is going to be. So I'm confused. You said the new app that came out with you could do it with your iPhone and, and set it up, but you can't do it with a digital camera today as you an can. individual. Can you? Yes, you can. You can use digital cameras as well. The beauty of our solution integrated into the app is you don't have to pay for anything and you don't have to go and stitch it together later. It does it all for you. The disadvantage is it's a cylinder, not a sphere. So you don't get the ceiling or the floor. But hey, it's easy and free. Yeah, yeah. Got to love that. And again, the, uh, the application is called Tourist, T-O-U-R. W-R-I-S-T. Totally free. Download it. Thanks. Thank you very much.